In Your Health today, we have a special guest in our studio, a cancer survivor, an inspiration. This is Charlie Luxman. He has a remarkable story to tell. He has traveled the world telling it. And Charlie, it began, you're running a silent movie theater in Los Angeles. Your wife has a baby on the way. And then life changed forever, didn't it? Bam. Cancer diagnosis. Osteosarcoma in my jawbone. One in 400 million people get that each year. One in what? One in 400 million. Makes me a pretty lucky guy. I'm supposed to win Mega Millions twice, you know? <laughs> but I got the greatest payoff of all. I'm still here on the planet, and I get to sing my passion, raise my babies, and travel all over America singing songs at cancer centers. That's what you have done to turn what some people would see as a stumbling block. You turned it into a stepping stone. You're writing music. You're inspiring cancer victims everywhere. Literally, you've traveled the world, and you've done it not just through speech, but through song. Well, it, it, it pierces through, you know, the music. Of course, cancer songs, they call me sometimes cancertainment. Uh, would you would think that would be a little weird or down or whatever, but my songs are about lift, lift up, that anything's possible. I went through this, I had my saw the, across my jaw, take it away, and they gave me a replacement jaw, and now, here I am singing better than I ever have before. You know, what doesn't kill you does make you sing better. <laughs> yes. And you're living proof of that. Well, it's all in how you look at it, really, at the end of the day. You can take this as a difficult, terrible journey, or you can take it as a possibility, an opportunity to live like you've never lived before. And you say you're a graduate of cancer college. Yes, my one year in cancer college. I did 11 months and 22 rounds of chemotherapy. So now I'm, in, I'm a nuclear man. They shot me, they made me nuclear. And they told me that it would make me glow. Oh. Yes, they proudly radiated me. Because they want to save, they want to save my bones. That is just one brief example of incredible music and an incredible story. What kind of reaction do you get from cancer victims and their families? You know, I go into these rooms and everything is down. They're, they're sad. Or they're feeling it's down. It's the darkest time of their life. Of course. I've been through that time. I know that time. But because I've come out of it and I've done something with it, I go in there with that energy. And I say, hey, how would you like to hear a recovery song? And they look at me like, what? This is my first day of chemo. I'm like, great, let's do a recovery song. You know, and I start to sing for them and I say, I finished what they said I had to do right before my life turned 42. They said that I was clean and clear to go back to the outside world I used to know, but I can't go back to what I've done, cause I'm somebody new, cause after everything I've been through, I see Kentucky from a different view, and I'm writing, I'm sliding home to you, as somebody new. And I finished that song, and the whole room is ignited. Everybody's like, whoa, wow, what, what's going on here, you know? And the idea is to bring that vision of what's possible. What does this all mean? What do you see in the future for yourself? It doesn't define you, the cancer experience. It can give you the possibility to live like you've never lived before. And, and when you're standing in front of them as living proof, absolutely, that's a lot different than somebody like me getting up there and just telling them, hey, you've got to fight and be strong and be positive. Absolutely. We need a dose of hope especially for rare cancers like I had. I had a sarcoma. Sarcoma accounts for 1% of adult cancers. That's pretty rare, but 15% of pediatric cancer. So that's not rare as far as I'm concerned. So it's important that we have clinical trials, that we do all these different things that will give us new medicine, new hope for survival. But in, in the meantime, I'm here to send you some songs. That's right. Even uh, an opera, right? Didn't you yes, write some it's a pop opera. It's called Made Me Nuclear because they nuked me for a year. And I've been going to theaters all over America and I've been singing at cancer conferences. I just did a conference in New York City where scientists and doctors came to learn about new breakthroughs and new cancer treatments. And I come in to sing songs to share the other side of it, to share the empathetic side of it. And say, hey doctors and all you guys out there, don't forget we're people. Yes, not just a patient number and Absolutely. not just what time is chemo today? Yes, and I had a great day at Central Baptist today. It was great. We and sang another for the staff. Case tonight. And tonight we'll be at Hope Lodge, the American Cancer Society's Hope Lodge, singing for everybody there. And then I move on. I'm going to be in Louisville tomorrow singing at a big cancer survivorship event, much like the one you had today. So I, I'm, I'm all over the place on the Musical Hope Campaign. And that's really 
It's a campaign of hope, much like the ones we are used to from the past. Remember, our president ran on hope, and yes, we can. Then, of course, he makes it difficult once he goes to Washington. And a couple <laughs> hundred other guys are like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You know, then the thing. But me, I don't have to fight with anybody, so it's great. I'm still about hope, and yes, we can. Yes, we can live today like it's the greatest day of our lives. I mean, there were three accidents out there just now for me trying to get in studio. I couldn't get here. But I said, yes, I can. <laughs> and you did it. <laughs> and I'll get there. And But life is fragile. Right. Life is fragile. It's not about how much time we have. It's what we do with the time That's we right. have. Charlie Lustman is his name. If you have internet access, of course, easy to find there, all over YouTube. Please check it out. Listen to the story. Listen to the music. And it will make a difference. Charlie, thanks for coming. A real pleasure. Nice to be on the planet. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you have earned it, my friend.